Hey everyone, we're gonna discuss how to use the Mohs Hardness Test Kit. So anytime you get on a commercial job site, you wanna test the concrete to see how hard it is, and that's gonna determine what type of tooling you're gonna to use. Generally speaking, if it is very soft concrete, you wanna use hard bond tooling. If it's very hard concrete, you wanna use very soft bond tooling. If it's medium hardness concrete, you're gonna use medium bond tooling. Some manufacturers of tooling actually say con or their, their tooling is for soft concrete, medium concrete, hard concrete, whereas other manufacturers will say this is soft bond tooling, medium bond tooling, hard bond tooling. Since it is inverted, you have to make sure that you're using the proper combination. So hard tooling goes on soft concrete. Soft tooling goes on hard concrete. And then if you have extra, extra hard concrete, you're gonna want extra, extra soft tooling. Um, so the way we do this is open up the test kit and inside here there's basically four different I guess you can call them styluses or pens or whatever you want to call them uh, They're numbered So this one with a blue bar on it that starts with the number nine and then eight and then it goes down seven six five four three two There is no one. It's just two is the softest and the idea is we're gonna start with a nine and then work our way down until it no longer scratches so the way it works is you hold it just like a pencil and then we're going to come in right under the concrete and we're actually going to scratch the concrete as if we're drawing a line with a pencil. So I'm going to do that right here and I'm going to start with my number nine and I'm just going to draw a line and it does draw a line in the concrete. So then I'm going to flip it over and do an eight. That scratches as well. It doesn't scratch as much, but it does still scratch it. So then I'm going to come to a seven. This is number seven. And that also scratches it. Then I'm going to come to a six. That also scratches it. And then we have a five, four. This is where most concrete is, at least where we are here in Rochester, New York, unless it's brand new concrete. Five, four. You see four when I draw this line. I can do it again here. It barely touches it. Go back to five. That draws a line. Come back to four. That barely makes a mark. So I'm betting if I go to a three, it's not going to do anything. So now we're at a three, nothing. It's ac actually the, the material, this, this metal here is actually wearing off on the concrete. So it's actually the pen that's scratching, not the concrete. So if it scratches at a four, that's kind of a, a soft to a soft medium hardness concrete, which means you want to use either hard bond tooling or medium tooling to go on soft concrete, soft medium concrete. You're gonna have the best production at that rate. What'll happen if you use the wrong tooling is if your concrete is really hard and you're using hard bond tooling, what'll happen is your, your diamonds will glaze over and the metal will not erode away quick enough to expose new diamonds, which means you'll just be skating across the concrete. It won't be cutting the concrete, it's just gonna be skating. If you're using soft bond tooling on soft concrete, what's gonna happen is the soft concrete is gonna be extremely abrasive and the soft bond of the metal will wear away too quick and you'll just burn through a whole set of tools way too quick. You may go 500 square feet and you'll go through an entire set of tools. On the flip side, if you're using hard bond tooling on hard concrete, you're not gonna go through your tooling really quick, but it's just not gonna be productive. It's not gonna scratch the concrete because you're not exposing new diamonds in your tooling to be able to create that abrasion on the concrete to scratch it. So if you're wondering why it's taking so long to grind, that means you need softer bond tooling. If you're running through tools too quick, that means you're too soft and you need to become harder bond or go to medium bond. So hopefully that helps. Do a scratch test on every commercial job site you get to. That way you maximize the productivity of your grind and you also maximize the efficiency of how much money you're spending on tooling. So that way you're not burning through tooling too quick. Hope everybody has a good day. Take care.